what does a balanced plate look like? In this video, I'm going to show you what a balanced plate actually looks like. It can be hard to picture exactly what we mean when we talk about getting that balanced plate. So I'm going to show you some examples of how you can plate up your food. Here's a reminder of the Eat Well plate. This shows us the recommended amounts of each food group that we require to get that healthy balance on our plate. So you can see from the Eat Well guide that we need roughly a third of our plate to be made up of starchy carbohydrates. That's the yellow section. Remember, there should ideally be whole meal and high fiber versions of these foods. So potatoes with the skin on, brown bread, pasta, rice, whole grain cereals such as oats, Weetabix and shredded wheat. We also need lots of fruits or vegetables with each meal. And this is the green section. The pink section is protein and we can get this from eggs, lean meat, fish, pulses, seeds and nuts. The blue section is dairy and this can be a tricky to, one to fit into a meal. So the advice is to have two to three portions a day of milk, cheese and yogurt. We also need a small amount of fat and that can come from oils and butter or things like nuts and seeds and avocados. This is the purple section. So, what should this look like on the plate? In this first photo, we have an example of a pasta dish. This was chicken and pesto pasta. It's got peppers, mushrooms, onions, green beans, and asparagus in the pasta. But if we'd serve this on its own, it'd be too much pasta and not enough vegetables. We wouldn't have that balance quite right. Here, it's been served with broccoli, cauliflower, and cabbage. You can add any vegetables that you like alongside the pasta. You could have a salad or maybe a bag of frozen mixed vegetables. You need quite a lot of each vegetable to get your five a day. So just serving the ones with the pasta isn't quite enough. In the second photo, we have some steak, which was cooked just in a dry pan with some sweet potato wedges and lots of vegetables. You can see that we only have a handful of wedges on the plate and almost half of the plate is filled with vegetables. This example could be any lean meat served with normal potatoes, maybe it's made into either a jacket potato, potato wedges or chips. Most people would get the balance wrong in this meal though by serving a much larger portion of potato with not enough vegetables. Next, we've got a salad. It's quite tempting when making salad to miss out the carbohydrates and just have protein and vegetables. It's important to try to get a small amount of carbohydrate in each meal so that you can keep your energy levels balanced throughout the day. If you miss out on carbohydrates at lunchtime, you'll probably be hungry by late afternoon. And this could mean that you're more tempted to reach for less balanced, unhealthy snacks to really boost those energy levels. In this salad, we have a handful of cold pasta to accompany the meal. You could also try having maybe it's a small wholemeal bread bun, a handful of brown rice, or a small jacket potato. We've added salmon for the protein along with a boiled egg, and there's a small drizzle of low-fat salad cream on the top. Here's an example of a Sunday dinner. You can see that we have a small amount of mashed potato, some lean chicken, a lovely selection of vegetables and a Yorkshire pudding. It's fine to add a bit of gravy to your dinner and maybe a small dollop of any additional condiments that you like, things like mint sauce, horseradish sauce or mustard. It can be tempting to add three or four Yorkshire puddings to your dinner and maybe roast potatoes alongside your mash. Unfortunately, this would really affect the balance of the meal. So try to choose one potato product cooked with just a small amount of butter or oil and try to stick to just one small Yorkshire pudding. If you aren't a great vegetable eater, then getting that balance right can be tricky. You need to try to eat as much veg as possible and you should aim to eat it every day. Here's an example of lunch. Uh, there's nothing wrong with a sandwich or toast for lunch, but to make it more balanced, you could try adding some soup alongside your sandwich. This could be tinned or fresh soup, but ideally stay away from the creamy versions and be aware of the traffic lights and any supermarket soups that you buy. You could also add a couple of pieces of fruit to have alongside your meal. In this photo, we can see an example of breakfast. Here we've got some overnight oats made with milk, served with frozen cherries, blueberries and pomegranate seeds. 
it's topped with some mixed seeds and a little drizzle of honey for sweetness. Think about your breakfast. Could you add some fresh, frozen or even tinned fruit to your cereal or porridge to try to get that healthy balance? If you don't like fruit with your breakfast cereal, could you maybe have that as your mid-morning snack to make sure that you're getting some of that five a day in with the first meal? Next, we have some tuna pasta salad. And rather than having all tuna pasta, here we've added some beans and a mixed salad. And this makes this lunch on the go a lot more balanced and really boosts your vegetable intake. Here we have a simple jacket potato served with some cheese and beans. And we've added a side salad to boost that veg. Remember that portion sizes are the key to getting that balance right. We've used a small potato. It's half a tin of beans rather than a full one. It's a small nub of butter and a couple of tablespoons of low fat cheddar. Have a read through your healthy eating guide and use this to determine the right portion sizes when creating your meal. Lastly, we've got a piece of steamed fish served with a baked sweet potato and some vegetables. What you might have noticed on all of the examples shown is that they're colourful. If your plate is beige in colour, then it's all wrong. Try to add at least two to three types of fruits and vegetables to your meal and try to use different coloured fruits and vegetables over the course of the day. This will ensure that you're getting a broad range of vitamins and minerals. Think about how much carbohydrate you have and try to stick to the recommended portions. Thanks for watching.